Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, uh, recently I posted a Friday challenge where a user had sent me a file and said, um, I want to uh, put in some data into a pipeline usage um, and each product is going to be listed here and I want the product in the chart to have the same color so for instance HSD03 um, is going to have this bluish color here and wherever I put in HSD03 my chart should have that same color well manually that's kind of a pain uh, to do because you have to select every series hit control one and then uh, bring up the format data series and change your fill color to a solid fill and, and do all of that so um, as you add and expand and contract you want to have those colors being the same thing it's a, it, it can be a real pain so the user said I wanted to do this and and make it more dynamic that my quantities um, show the right uh, length of the pipeline usage as well as the color um, depending on the product so uh, sent the Friday challenge out there now I had created an actual chart not using VBA um, and uh, also said that this probably could be done very easily in VBA and so um, if you are inclined to learn VBA uh, check out this sample um, Pete was awesome uh, Pete created this uh, macro that applies colors um, to the range right here and then once it applies the colors to the range uh, it applies those to the fill colors of the chart so let me show you how you can go about doing that um, number one uh, you can look at his code under your developer tab now if you do not have a developer tab what you want to do is just go up to your ribbons um, right click on it and do customize the ribbon once you're customizing the ribbon um, over here on the right hand side you should see the developer one and you can check or uncheck it typically I think the default is unchecked so you will want to check it and then you'll now see this developer tab so once you're at the developer tab you can click on the visual basic right here and it will bring up after you've downloaded the file and take a look at the actual code that was created now uh, what Pete did is he started with a macro out of Mike Alexander's awesome book 101 ready to use Excel macros this matches chart colors to cells that you have in your chart um, but what Pete found was a little lacking um, in this specific challenge is this uh, if you added a new data series um, it would not automatically expand the range and uh, match the chart to the, the new cell colors so he created a separate sub function here to go through and uh, verify the color table range um, and how big it is and make sure to apply it to every one of the new cells uh, then he created a separate subroutine that's going to call each one of these uh, other subroutines and finally what he did is he um, went into his macros tab and he has this thing called match colors and he set it up with options here to uh, a shortcut key so you can see how he did that um, let's show you how it works so the first thing you want to do is you need to select your cell um, he's got a table of colors um, for each product so each product is only going to have one color so it'll only show up once over here in the table uh, his macro will then match and apply colors to this area or range right here and then the final the second macro um, will apply the colors from these different cells uh, to the chart so what you need to do is you first need to select your chart and you could you could go up to macros select it and do run um, or uh, from your developer tab or he set up that shortcut key of control shift M and that's what I'm going to do control shift M Let's try that again control shift M and you can see it's applying the colors to the cells and then it applies those matching colors to the actual chart so hopefully you can use this technique in other charts that you're creating for your Excel dashboards um, for your executives so that your chart colors match um, and can easily be created here from one table into multiple sets of data um, that then get applied into your overall chart dynamically and uh, also you might be able to learn a little bit about how that's done uh, usually in uh, Visual Basic so that was great thank you very much Pete uh, once again 101 ready to use macros by Michael Alexander and then Pete added a separate sub function uh, to apply it dynamically to this range um, and then created a shortcut key so I thought that was awesome uh, in the next couple of days we'll show you a couple of other solutions that we received for the Friday challenge so make sure you head back and check those out
Once again, this is Steve Equals True at ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. Please head on over there and also consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.